North Korea apparently tested a missile on Friday, which would make it the third test in two weeks, just hours after criticizing a U.S. push for new sanctions over the previous launches as a provocation and warning of a strong reaction. Poland's foreign minister said that Europe was at risk of plunging into war as Russia said it was not yet giving up on diplomacy but that military experts were preparing options in case tensions over Ukraine could not be diffused. Australian authorities warned people to stay indoors on Friday as a severe heat wave along the northwestern coast pushed temperatures to a blistering 50.7 degrees Celsius hitting a high last seen 62 years ago. Pakistan's coronavirus positivity ratio jumped over 7% as the country reported 3,567 new cases, the highest since September 10, 2021. In the last 24 hours, the National Command and Operations Center's data showed Friday morning. Seven more deaths have taken the death toll to 28,999. Chief Minister since said Friday the decision to impose a lockdown and close educational institutions will be taken in line with the National Command and Operations Center's recommendations. The Chief Minister's statement comes as Karachi's coronavirus positivity ratio reached 28.80% in the last 24 hours. Pakistan has warned the international community of India staging another false flag operation. We are continuing to alert the international community about India's track record, Ministry of Foreign Affairs spokesperson said. Tenth death anniversary of the world's youngest Microsoft certified professional Arthur Kareem is being observed today. She passed away on this day in 2012 in Lahore at the age of 16. Pakistan has to repay foreign loans worth $8.638 billion during the second half December to end of the fiscal year 2021-22. According to the data obtained by local media outlet, in rupee terms that amount for repayment of foreign loans has gone up by 399% during the last four years. Australia cancelled Novak Djokovic's visa for a second time on Friday saying the world number one tennis champion who has not been vaccinated for COVID-19 may pose a health risk, effectively ending his bid for a record 21st Grand Slam title at the Australian Open. Astronomers witnessed a red supergiant star in its final days and its massive explosion as it died and turned into a supernova, the first time that instance has ever been observed. The death of a massive star like this, it's very dramatic and very violent, said Lee Dorther.